All right, y'all. Part six, doing cosmetic. We're gonna start on the body work, the roof front little panel, the real hub panel, possibly painting the frames for the uh, roof and everything like that. So this is what we're gonna tackle now. This roof was so beat up, I researched possibly getting a new roof and those things were more expensive than I thought they were. So I started a process of repairing this roof. It had ripped and cracked all the way around here. You can see. And I also did this on the other side. And the product I used was this plastic bonder, sort of a JB Well product. And you mix it up and it dries in about 15 minutes and it cures in 30 minutes. So y'all, when I say this is hard, just as hard as the original. All right, here's that front hub. As you can see, I'm gonna have to do a little more cleaning and this is what we gotta tackle. So. I'm gonna try to, to see. I started peeling this off. All right, that's a good sign. It came right off. You can really see that different color there. This might have been painted. I don't know. Looks like it might have. Somebody did, did try to paint it at one point. So what I'm gonna try to do now is try to, if I can, scrape off this pan stripe. And I'm gonna attempt to take off this club car decal. But if it give, it seems like it's too much problems, I'm going to leave it alone. Well, hmm, looks like this is coming off. Yeah, that was all, there's no fixing that. That's years of sitting out in the sun, just completely dry right. So I might just try to take this off, maybe keep that little rubber panel there and uh, go from there. Now, as far as body repair, it looks like they tried to somebody tried to repair this at some point. I look on the inside of this, there's fiberglass. So I'm not really going to worry about that. Now, this part right here, majority of this, this whole basic, almost whole section, I'm going to cut out anyway because the headlights are going to go right here. So once I cut that out, I might use some bond or something just to sort of smooth this part out. But this part right here works perfect because that's where the headlight we're gonna go and on that side. Uh, not really worried about that. This is where one of the bolts go down. I might try to patch that up a little bit so a bolt can go down and have that a little more secure. But we'll we'll see. So main thing now is try I'm gonna try to scrape off this uh, pin stripe. Okay, got the pan stripe removed. I didn't gouge it up too bad. I think I got an idea for this part right here. I might put the name, if I come up with a name with the golf cart, I'm gonna peel this off. Let's see if we can get that off. All right, I think I might put the name of the golf cart right there. We'll see how they go though. All right, but not bad. Now to all my uh, Rolls Royce body fabricators and painters, are you gonna spend seven weeks sanding to get all those gouges out? Now, I don't care about none of that. I'm gonna sand it down. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna try to get it back as smooth as possible. I wanna, you know, uh, start with a high grit, work my way down, sign, smooth it as possible as I can get, and put a couple of primer coats on here, and then I'm gonna put the paint on. I'm not trying to get showroom. I could send this out to a body shop and them charge me five or six hundred dollars just to do all this, but no, I'd rather spend that money on some other things for the car. All right, so got that off. Now, get a little water, I'm gonna do a little more scrubbing, get some of this dirt off, and then we'll come back.
So now let's look to the top. It's the roof. As you can see, I started experimenting with the uh, the color scheme. And I guess I'll reveal that here. My color scheme is gonna be black and brown. The body is gonna be a glossy black. My seat's gonna be black with like a little brown stripe. So you'll get the idea. So I experimented with this uh, texture spray paint. I really like how it feels. I really like the color, but it would have taken, this was just two cans. And to really get this whole roof covered and the underside of it, it probably would have taken about 10, 12 cans to really get this coated like I wanted to. That's not gonna happen. So I had to came with another idea. I want the top of this to be brown and the rest of it to be black. Like this middle part, all this is black with this brown, sort of like two brown stripes on the top of the roof, sort of gonna match. And when I get the seat, the upholstery done, you'll sort of see what I'm talking about. Do that for the brown and everything else will be black. Well, I take it back. I'm gonna go ahead and paint everything else black first. And that's gonna be my base. So even if I get a little over here, that's fine. I'll come back over it with the brown. So let's start getting with the paint. All right, that's all I'm gonna do with these bodies. That's about as good as I'm gonna get. Doing, seeing that you don't have a controlled environment as far as wind and stuff like that. This is about as good as it's gonna get. Now I am gonna throw a couple of coats of clear coat on top of that, a little gloss, and it might shine up a little bit, but that's about it. That's just, I mean, that's the best I can get at this moment. 